Let me explain the chapter by reading the text and explain. So, all of you open the textbook, chapter 12, page number 116. So, let me read the lesson. I will read the lesson and you have to look, up, look into the textbook and you will also have to read the textbook very well. Okay. So, we use electricity for many purposes to make our task easier. For example, we use electricity to operate pumps that lift water from wells or from ground level to the rooftop tank. What are other purposes for which you use electricity? List some of them in your notebook. What are the uses of electricity? There are so many uses like mixy, washing machine, then iron box, motor, etc. Does your list include the use of electricity for lighting? Electricity makes it possible to light our homes, roads, offices, markets and factories even after sunset. This helps us to continue working at night. A power station provides us with electricity. However, the supply of electricity may fail or it may not be available at some places. In such situation, a torch is sometimes used for providing light. A torch has a bulb that lights up when it is switched on. So, where does the torch get electricity from? From this paragraph, what did you understand? Electricity is very important in our life. Without electricity, we can't live. At night time, you need bulb to glow. Suppose, if power cut, we use torch. Torch has a bulb. When it is switched on, its bulb light up. Now, where does the torch get electricity? This is the question. So, our topic is electric cell. The torch get electricity from electric cell. And from where electricity is, electric cell produce electricity? It has a chemical inside. It has a chemical inside the electric cell which which is which gives electricity to the torch when it is used up. And this electricity, electric cell are used in different devices. So I'll read electricity to the bulb in a torch is provided to the electric cell. Electric cells are used in alarm clocks, wrist watches, transistor radios, cameras and many other devices. Have you read? Have you ever carefully looked at an electric cell? You might have noticed that it has a small metal cap on one side and a metal disc on the other side. Did you notice a small uh, is a uh, notice a positive sign and a negative sign? So this thing I have explained by showing the video. The metal cap is the positive terminal of the electric cell. The metal disc is the negative terminal. All electric cells have two terminals: a positive terminal and a negative terminal. An electric cell produces electricity from the chemicals stored inside it. When the chemicals in the electric cell are used up, the electric cell stops producing electricity. The electric cell then has to be replaced with a new one. A torch bulb has an outer case of glass that is fixed on a metallic base. What is inside the glass case of the bulb? This thing I have well explained. That is what is there inside the bulb. That is the filament and all. So, let me explain the activity 1. Take a torch and look inside its bulb. You can also take out the bulb with the help of your teacher. What do you notice? Do you find a thin wire fixed in the middle of the glass bulb? Now, switch the torch on and observe which part of the bulb is glowing. The thin wire that gives off light is called filament of the bulb. The filament is fixed to two thicker wire which also provides support to it. So, there is a filament inside the bulb which makes the bulb glow. 
and one of this thick wire is connected to the metal case at the base of the bulb the other thick wire is connected to the metal tip at the center of the base these are the two terminals of the bulb next is activity 2 we will go to the activity 2 take four lengths of electric wire with differently colored plastic covering remove a little of the plastic covering from each length of the wire we have taken four length of electric wire from that we have removed the plastic covering why you know why we remove the plastic covering because plastic does not conduct electricity this would expose the metal wire at the end of each length fix the exposed part of two wire to the cell and the other two of the bulb you have seen see the figure 12.3 and 12.4 you can stick the wires to the bulb with the tape used by electricians use rubber band or tap to fix the wire to the cell now connect the wire fixed to the bulb with those attached to the cell in six different ways as have been shown in figure 12.5 you can see the figure 12.6 there are different arrangement of arrangement of fixing the bulb and the battery now you have to say which one will glow figure a the bulb is glowing figure b the bulb does not glow why because the connection is removed c bulb does not glow why because the connection is removed d is not glowing why the connection is not proper the two wires is connected to the same terminal of the battery e the bulb does not glow why the two wires are connected to the same terminal of the battery f glows even though it is twisted and connected but it is the connection connection is same correct okay now next is keep the tip of your pencil on the wire near one terminal of the electric cell move the pencil along the wire all the way to the bulb now from the other terminal of the bulb move along the other wire connected to the cell repeat this exercise that means you have to keep the pencil tip of the pencil tip to the wire and see whether the bulb glows or not you can see the bulb will glow that is because the pencil tip is the conductor next is an electric circuit it is very important electric circuit okay in activity 2 you connected one terminal of the electric cell to the other terminal through wire passing to and from the electric bulb note that in the arrangement the two terminals of the electric cell were connected to two terminals of the bulb such an arrangement is an is an example of an electric circuit so when the bulb is connected to the battery through a wire this arrangement is known as electric circuit now let us move to the next paragraph in an electric circuit the direction of the current is taken to be from the positive to the negative terminal of the electric cell that you have you can see the figure 12.c the direction is showing here the current flows from the positive terminal to the positive terminal of the battery to the bulb and then it reaches to the negative terminal of the battery when the terminals of the bulb are connected with the with that of the electric cell by wires the current passes through the filament of the bulb this makes the bulb glow sometimes an electric bulb does not glow even if it is connected to the cell this may happens if the bulb has fused i have explained to you already showed the picture also that even if the connection is proper the bulb sometimes does not glow why because the bulb is fused an electric bulb may fuse due to many reason one reason for a bulb to fuse is a break in its filament a break in the filament of an electric bulb means a break in the path of the current in current between the terminals of the electric cell therefore a fused bulb does not light up 
as no current passes through its filament can you now explain why the bulb did not glow when you tried to do so with the arrangements shown in figure 12.5 now we know how to make a bulb light up using an electric cell would you like to make a torch for yourself see the activity 3 in the activity 3 take a torch bulb and a piece of wire remove the plastic covering as we did in earlier at the two ends of the wire wrap one end of a wire around the base fix the other end of the wire to the negative terminal of an electric cell with a rubber band bring the tip of the base of the bulb that is its other terminal in contact with the positive terminal of the cell you can see the figure 12.7 does the bulb glows yes if it is not fixed uh, the bulb that is its other terminal in contact with the positive terminal of the cell now move the bulb away from the terminal of the electric cell does the bulb remain lighted no now bulb will not remain because it is moved away from the bulb next is electric switch activity 4 you can see here you can make a switch using two drawing pins a safety pin two wires and a small sheet of thermocol insert a drawing pin into the ring at one end of the safety pin and fix it on the thermocol sheet make sure that the safety pin can be rotated freely now fix the other drawing pin on the thermocol sheet in a way that the free end of the safety pin can touch it the safety pin fixed in this way would be your switch we have already made so many children have made already and showed me so now make a circuit by connecting an electric cell and a bulb with this switch next let us move to the electric conductors and insulator before that the last paragraph of this is a switch is a simple device that either breaks the circuit or completes it the switches used in lighting of electric bulb and other devices in home work homes work on the same principle although their designs are more complex so underline that line okay a switch next is electric conductors and insulators in all of our activities we have used metal wires to make a circuit you have seen in your house and all metal wire we use suppose we use a cotton thread will the light bulb no circuit is not complete activity 5 disconnect the switch from the electric circuit you used for activity 4 activity 4 in 4 we have made the circuit just disconnect it bring the free end of the wire close to let them touch each other does the bulb light up yes you can now use this arrangement to test whether an whether any material any given material allows current to pass through it or not so you can see the activity 12.2 in a it is disconnected and then the wire is connected to the both ends of the wire is connected to a key collect samples of different types of material such as coins cork rubber glass key glass keys pins plastic scale wooden block aluminum foil candle sewing needle sewing needle thermocol paper and pencil lead one by one this i have given you as an assignment also now come to the next after the table paragraph okay what do you find the bulb does not glow when the free ends of the wire are in contact with some of the material you have tested this means that these materials do not allow allow the electric current to pass through them on the other hand some materials allow electric current to pass through them suppose you have connected a eraser with the circuit 
the bulb does not glow when you connected the iron nail what will happen the bulb glows so the material which allow the electric current to pass through them is called conductors material which allow electric current to pass through them are conductors of electricity insulators do not allow electric current to pass through them with the help of name the materials that are conductors of electricity and also those which are insulators so there are conductors conductors you can name there what is there iron aluminum gold even gold is a conductor insulator you can write there what scale plastic it is scale eraser and match stick or wooden stick what do you conclude which material are conductors and which are insulator recall the object that that we grouped as those having luster are they are conductors it now seems easy to understand why copper aluminum and other metals are used for making wire now let us see the last paragraph conductors and insulators are equally important for us switches electric plugs and sockets are made of conductors on the other hand rubber and plastics are used for covering electric wires plug stops switches and other parts of electrical appliances which people might touch now let us discuss the question answer which i gave today so first is filling the blanks filling the blanks first one is just see the notes which i gave you a device that is used to break an electric circuit is called switch so the device which is used to break the circuit circuit break is switch an electric cell has dash terminals how many terminals two now true or false you have to do first one is electric current can flow through metals is it true or false yes electric current can only flow through metals can flow through metals so it is true second one instead of metal wires a jute string can be used to make a circuit can you use jute string no jute is an insulator which will not produce electric current which will not allow electric current to flow that is false c electric current can pass through a sheet of thermocol can it pass no so false the next question is explain why the bulb would not glow in the arrangement shown in figure 12.13 just see the figure 12.13 yes what is the there is a tester in between and the tester's one end is connected to the bulb that uh, tester's one end means the plastic part is connected to the bulb will the current flow through the plastic no the current will not pass pass to the plastic so the answer is the bulb does not glow as the holder of the tester used in the connection is made of plastic which is an insulator this current will not flow in the circuit so next question is using the conduction tester on an object it was found that the bulb begins to glow is that object a conductor or an insulator you have to explain that means using a conduction tester on an object we can find that the bulb begins to glow you have seen the tester with that we can find the bulb glows so is that object is a conductor or an insulator that object must be an object must be an insulator itself because it allows the current to flow through it and thus helped in the glowing of bulb now would the bulb glow after completing the circuit shown in figure 12.14 just see the figure 
if it if instead of safety pin we use an eraser if we use an eraser instead of safety pin just tell me whether the bulb glows or not no the bulb will not glow when we we will use an eraser why eraser is an insulator eraser instead of safety pin even after circuit is complete because the rubber is an insulator and current will not flow through it next question is would the bulb glow in the circuit shown in figure 12.15 no the bulb will not glow because the wires from both terminals of the battery are connected to the one terminal of the bulb you can see both the terminals of the both the terminals of the battery is connected to a single terminal of the bulb so the current does not flow it should be connected to the other terminal of the bulb now let us discuss the question answer which i gave in the previous classes let us discuss from the question number 1 how many terminals are there in a battery what are they how many terminals are there there are two terminals this one is positive terminal and a negative terminal it is clear second question how does the electric cell produces electricity how an electric cell produces electricity from the chemical stored inside it as you all know the chemical is stored inside the electric cell question number 3 why does a cell stop producing electricity after some time the cell produces electricity from chemical stored inside it the cell is using the electricity from where from the chemical stored inside it when the chemicals inside the cell used up the cell stop producing electricity next what is an electric cell electric cell is a source of energy it produces a small amount of electricity from chemical stored inside inside it so it is a source of energy from where electricity is produces and it produces a only small amount of not like electricity electric wiring it produces a small amount of electricity from the chemical stored inside the cell what is a battery when two or more cells are joined together is called a battery this clear now what is an electric circuit path from one terminal to the other terminal of the electric cell through wires passing to and from the electric bulb is called electric circuit from one terminal of the cell to the other terminal of the bulb this this connection this connection this all connection joined together is known as is known as electric circuit what is the direction of current in the electric circuit from positive to negative correct so answer will be in an electric circuit the direction of current is taken from the positive terminal of the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the electric cell what is a filament a filament is a thin wire fixed in the middle of a bulb connected to the wire you all know inside the bulb there is a thin wire which is called a filament now why does a bulb why does a fused bulb question number 9 okay why does a fused bulb not light up a fused bulb means a break in its filament which results in a break in the path of the current between the terminals of the electric cell so a fused bulb does not light up as no current passes through its filament is it clear because the when the filament is broken the current does not pass through the filament and the circuit will be not complete so the current does not flow and the bulb does not glow it will be fused next is question number 10 why does one remove the plastic covering of connecting wires before making electric circuit plastic why remove 
why to remove the plastic covering because plastic is a bad conductor or an insulator of electricity it prevents us from electric shock to complete the circuit we have to remove the plastic coating to connect wire so that the current may flow through the circuit if you remove the plastic coating then the current will pass through the circuit next is question number 11 what is the purpose of using an electric switch name some electrical gadgets that have switches built into them we use electric switches in order to either stop an electrical gadget gadget means devices when needed or to start an electrical gadget when needed example grinder mixer when we want to on we switch on the switch on and when we off when we want to off we switch off so it it is a device which is used to stop or start the electrical devices question 12 why should an electric electrician use rubber gloves while repairing an electric switch at your home explain as our body is a good conductor of electricity there is a chance of getting electric shock if it comes in contact with electrical wires and if we are with rubber gloves on our hands the rubber being an insulator will protect us from electric shock understood no because our body is good conductor and when we touch with the conductor we get the shock so we have to use the rubber gloves gloves not to get the electric shock 13 the handles of the tools like screw driver and pliers used by electrician for repair repair work usually have plastic or rubber cover on them can you explain why with screw drivers the electrician has to touch naked wire and screws in which electricity is flowing if the screw drivers does not have a handle made of plastic or wood the electricity can flow through it to his body which is itself is a good conductor of electricity and get an electric shock if the handles are coated with wood or plastic he will not get an electric shock that is why the handles is made up of wood or or rubber plastic otherwise the person will get the shock now what first question 14 what is a conductor give example as i explained today very nicely you have to write like this a conductor is a material that does not allow an electric current to pass through it example copper aluminum iron etc question number 15 what is an insulator give example insulator is the material that does not glow that does not allow an electric current to pass through it it will not allow the electric current to pass through that device that is example wood rubber plastic etc question 16 is air a good or bad conductor of electricity why air is a bad conductor of electricity if air were the good conductor of electricity electricity could reach to the bulb without wiring and the bulb could gl- could light without wire now you can see if you remove the wire the bulb does not glow why air is an insulator that is why uh, that is why we says air is a bad conductor of electricity moreover the electricity running through wire could scatter all around the wire and then it might be dangerous with this audio session i think so it is very clear to you so next week i will be conducting a unit test for you be prepared for that okay everybody has to attempt the unit test and send the ut paper to me either in google classroom or in whatsapp thank you